Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Jackie Christie. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas for the first time on the Velder Beatty Show. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Well, I had a chance to watch my um, uh, um, uh, little snippets yesterday, and I'm quite impressed with you. Oh, thank you. I, I, I must say I'm very, very happy that the world is, is taking this journey with me. Okay. We're talking about, B I want my audience to know we're talking about VH1's hit. Doc, I guess it's a docu series. I'm mm -hmm. not sure, but it's Basketball Wives, and you guys have season seven coming up. Yes, we're underway with season seven. Comes on every Sunday night at 10 p.m. nine central on VH1. You do not want to miss a minute of it. Okay, I watched yesterday, and mm -hmm. it seems like you're a, just a, a very smart, very rational, very normal person that I think that a lot of people could identify with. Thank you, thank you. But, but everyone's not like that on the show. What, what, why is it so <laughs> different? I guess the personalities are designed to entertain us. You know, it's funny. All of us are strong women. All of us are very outspoken. Um, some of us are just a little bit more transparent than others. I've been transparent for seven years. I'll continue to be. There's so many layers to me. And I think that's kind of what we're seeing with some of the other ladies as well, like Jennifer Williams, who's feisty, who's, you know, coming out of her shell a little bit. She's attacking other women. You know, it's just different. Like you said, different personalities. You're going to get different things. That's right, because people are different. They really, really are. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, so this is, uh, uh, the Housewives, this edition is produced by Shawnee O'Neal, who mm -hmm. also is a star in this also, too, correct? Uh-huh, yes. Shawnee is one of the executive producers, and she also is my co-star as well. Yeah. Okay. So, when you guys do this, what do you want us to know? Do you just want us to know how different people live and different personalities, as you say? What's, what's the whole basis behind it? Um, the basis behind the show is that it's a big, big um, curiosity Friends people have with basketball wives, basketball, you know, girlfriends, significant others of basketball players, the whole sports world in general. Um, and so they want to know, how do we live? What do we wear? What do we eat? What do we like? What kind of music do we listen to? What is our daily life like? So when the show was presented to me, I'd already had a show prior, which was called The Christie's Committed. It was myself, my husband, and our family. So to join this show, which is an ensemble cast, meaning more than, you know, two or three women, it's it's seven or eight of us. It, it was appealing to me because I felt like, you know, not only are we friends, we'll also build friendships and people can see a group of women, a sisterhood. Basically, we're a dysfunctional family, so to speak. But at the end of the day, we've got each other's backs and you get to take these journeys and these rides with us. And the world loves it. OK, so you're married to the retired Los Angeles player, Doug Christie. Yes. But are you the only one that's married? Everyone else is either a girlfriend or divorced, or am I wrong on that? Um, you know, this season we got another wife, uh, Kristen. She's married. Um, we've got um, Tammy, who I was helping to try and get her married to Reggie, but she just, uh, well, yeah, you've seen that already. She's kind of putting that on hold a little bit for now. But, yeah, pretty much it's me and Kristen married this season. Yeah. Okay. So I thought you were the stable one because you were married. That's what I thought. <laughs> because you seem like you're very stable. And like Thank I said, once you. again, you're smart, you're focused. Uh, you. you got a purpose for being on here. So I thought that was your, your MO. Mm, thank you. Yeah, and you know, for many years now, they've um, labeled me the antagonist or the villainess. Um, this season, um, I've decided to go to therapy, um, mourning the loss of my mother, and just you know, wanting to learn how to deal oh, with sorry. relationships. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, it's been some time, but and she also was on the show, so I've taken this. The the audience has been able to follow me through that whole. 
um, situation with my mom getting cancer and then, you know, ultimately um, succumbing to it. And for me to now finally start mourning, it is, is very hard for me to do. But the therapy has helped me in every area, even in the area with these young ladies on the show. So I think that's what the, the world is getting to see. And they're rallying behind me. They're supporting me. It's phenomenal. It's heartwarming. It's kind of scary for me because I've always had such public. Um, they love me. But at the same time, they were like, we hate her. She's so feisty. She's always, you know, getting in someone's face. And now it's, you know, for the, to give me this kind of love. I, I don't know how to accept it other than just say thank you. Yes, say thank you. That's enough. Yes. I want to tell my audience, you got to tune in. This new season is supposed to be just yes. a delicious season. When are we going to be watching you guys on VH1? Every Sunday at 10 p.m., 9 central on VH1. Jackie, I want to thank you so very much for who you are and what you do and what you portray. Thank you very much for being my guest on the Belder BB Show. Thank you so much, Valder.